I think we're well aware of my neutral obsession. It's black, my favorite color to wear. <laughs> and we have another gray piece, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another haul video. I'm super excited to film this one for you guys because I have been wanting to do a Zara and H&M haul on my channel for like four months now and I've been talking about it incessantly in my vlogs and you guys are probably like, okay, like can you just film it instead of just talking about filming it? So I had both of the orders come this week and we are filming it and getting it up as soon as possible. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I would absolutely love to have you. I do a bunch of like lifestyle and fashion videos, so like hauls, vlogs, styling videos, all that kind of stuff. And definitely leave suggestions for more videos that you wanna see in the comments. And yeah, I just wanna jump right into it. We have a lot of like neutral staples that I'm very excited about. I feel like I need to keep <laughs> everything in this order, which is kind of like unheard of when you're placing like a huge order. There's usually something that doesn't work out. Actually, there's one thing, but it's like very small. So you're gonna be like, okay, you basically wanna keep everything. But yeah, let's just jump into it. I have like a color palette going. You guys are probably gonna like notice it like halfway through the video. Okay, so the first thing is this cardigan. And if you guys have been on my channel for the past couple months, you've probably noticed a little bit of a trend with me buying cardigans, but I saw this one and I loved the shade of gray and I loved the shape of it because it kind of like tapers down a little bit, but it's this really pretty light gray color. I love the tortoise buttons and how they have like a warm contrast to a very cool tone and it's just like super fluffy there's like five percent alpaca in this or something and anytime you have that natural fiber in here it just like makes it look fluffier and cozier and i love that for knitwear i don't love like cashmere and things like that and it sounds strange because like cashmere is like a really soft like high quality fabric but i like to have like thicker and chunkier knits in my wardrobe and this is definitely along those lines this one has like cinched cuffs on the end, which I think is super flattering because it just creates a more interesting shape. And then it also cinches a little bit here near the waist. So I would definitely pair this with black trousers. I think that's my first instinct is to wear like a chunky cardigan with something that is a little bit fancier. I would also throw on like straight like jeans with this and make it more casual with like a white tee underneath, like popping through the top of the collar. And I just think that something like this is very Parisian. You could also drape this over your shoulders. You can wear it open. You can wear it closed as its own sweater. And I just feel like a cardigan is such a versatile piece. And I'm thinking that's why I keep adding them into my wardrobe because I'm going to wear them so much. But yeah, I thought this was a really cool shade to add in. It's very different from things that I already have in my closet. And right now I only have a cardigan in like an olive green color. So I thought that this would be a really nice one to add in. And I just loved how like chunky the knit was. So this one was absolutely perfect. And I can't wait to shoot this for Instagram because I feel like it's just gonna look very, very chic for the fall months. Okay, so the next one that I have here is something that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe. And if you don't, this is a really good option because it's very budget friendly. So this is an oversized black coat from H&M. It has a couple of the fuzzies on it from that gray sweater, but it is the most perfect shade. This is the thing that I tried on first out of both orders because I was like, I wanna see what this is like, considering the fact that a lot of my coats end up being around like $200. And I was like, let's see what this one is like since it's obviously a lot cheaper. And the shape of this is so perfect. It's like any oversized black coat that you could ever want. Like it needs to have this shape. It's just cut super well. And the length on it is also really, really pretty. I love throwing this over like super chunky knits. You can also do all black underneath, which I think would look really cool. I also love like an oversized black coat with like straight like denim and just going like oversized and oversized on the bottom. And yeah, it's just like the ultimate closet staple. I would say if you need one thing in your like fall and winter wardrobe, it's a black coat just because when you're in these colder months and you're out and about, it's like you can't necessarily see your outfit underneath unless you're like going to brunch or going to a restaurant and like taking off your coat. It's like the coat is really what matters during these seasons and having like a plain sleek and clean staple one like this is so important to have. And you can accessorize it with like scarves and hats and like things like that just to change it up a little bit. But definitely one that you can wear every single day. This would be a really good like everyday coat. And yeah, I just love it. It's black, my favorite color to wear. <laughs> okay, so next up we have another gray piece and this, I fell in love with because it is a blazer, which you guys know I have a ton of in my wardrobe, but it also has this tie. And I love this like monochrome look that also gives you like a little cinched waist. 
because blazers can be super oversized and not really give you a lot of shape. I think it's really great to have a tie like this. And you can also just like switch this out for like a belt that I'm wearing right now and wear your own belt. And that way you can get more use out of it and make it look a little bit different. You could also wear this without the belt and just have this like super oversized blazer on top. But I love the idea of cinching the waist in and wearing it with like skinny jeans and chunky boots. I just feel like balancing out something that's like more oversized on top with like a chunkier shoe is really, really chic. And I just love this shade of gray too. I keep saying that you guys are probably like gray is not a color, but I <laughs> think that there are so many different tones of this. And that's kind of why I've been incorporating so much of it into my closet is because I never had any gray. And I'm like, okay, well, there's light gray, there's warm grays, there's cool tone grays, there's charcoal like I'm wearing right now. So it's like, there's such a large range of shades. And so because I didn't own anything like this in my wardrobe, I definitely wanted to pick it up. And I think this one was, the price isn't on here, but I think it was a very good price for a staple piece like this. So like I said, I would just pair it with all black. I think that that would look really nice, but you could also do like denim. I feel like I'm warming up to the fact of like, not wearing only like leather leggings and black trousers and black skinny jeans in the winter time. We're kind of like teetering into the denim because I feel like it looks very like elevated chic when you have a piece like this that's a little fancier and then you dress it down with some denim. And honestly, this is like the perfect thing to wear right now when the temperature is not too cold and you don't need to have like a full coat on top, but you could also throw on the black coat that I just showed you guys if it's a little chillier by you. Okay, so this next piece I'm so excited about because to me, this is a color <laughs> and I have this navy dress from Zara. It is the softest knit ever. I have no idea what this is made out of, but it's so cozy. It's a really, really good length. And that's why I wanted to grab this one because I have a black one from Revolve that's a little bit on the shorter side. And I think I would have to wear tights or something like that just to make it look a little bit more appropriate. But this one is such a good length. It's a really good knit. It also has this rib detail on the bottom of it and on the cuffs, which I think just makes it look a lot cozier. And then it has this sort of like mock neck turtle. So it's like pretty high up, kind of like the one that I'm wearing right now, but it's not like a really chunky collar where it's like a double fold. And I think this would look so cool with like tights and boots. I, that's how I pictured it originally. Or like if you wanted to wear black, like chunky, like knee high boots, I don't own those, but if you wanted to go right ahead. I'm actually on the hunt for a pair because I'm warming up to the fact of them but I just don't want such a huge sole that I feel like I'm clunking around. So stay tuned. If I end up finding a pair, I will definitely share those with you guys in a vlog. Definitely good piece to have. Also, this is amazing because you just throw this on and you're already done with the outfit. You don't really have to think about it too much, especially if you're someone who like gets overwhelmed with like not knowing what to wear and not knowing what colors to pair. Like dresses and like midi dresses are really, really perfect. Sorry, we are just waiting for the sirens to come through. But something like this is really perfect because it just makes getting dressed that much easier. Okay, the next thing that I have is something that I've actually been hunting for in my wardrobe for a long time. And I almost picked one up at Aloe, but it was not in my size and I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized. So I wanted to try this one from H&M and it's like a windbreaker quarter zip jacket. Basically in the summer, I'm like completely fine with wearing like a long line sports bra and the matching leggings to go to the gym, but I don't have anything to wear for when it gets a little bit chillier out. And I just want to be a little bit covered when I leave the gym. So I picked this one up. I wanted to go for a more oversized look. So I got a medium and I feel like this is just me trying to make my gym wear look a little bit more chic. And it's just like very oversized and flowy. It has a hood and a couple of pockets in the front. So it's very functional, especially if you're bringing like a lock and your phone and your AirPods and stuff like that to the gym. You just kind of don't want to be carrying all that stuff. And yeah, it's like super lightweight. It also has this detail on the back where it's like layered, which I thought was really cool. And just something that's very simple and functional, but I've been trying to find one for so long and they were just like, a very expensive and also like not really the fit that i was going for so i figured i would just try out the h m one but i think it's a really good fit and it's something that you will definitely use a ton in your wardrobe and just for like a nicer gym look that sounds really unnecessary but i'm telling you guys like i kind of think of it all okay so the next piece that i have is also something that i have in my wardrobe but technically don't and we have another gray piece i'm sorry to say um but this is like a quarter zip ribbed knit sweater and I loved the wide cuffs and like the oversized like slinky fit of this. I just saw someone wearing this with a white button down underneath. And so like the collar doesn't show because this comes up so high, but underneath, like you could see the white shirt popping out of the bottom. And I was like, why did I not think of that? Like that's such a chic way to like dress up something that's like more oversized and flowy. 
and you guys know that I'll probably be wearing this with trousers or if you didn't know now you do but I feel like that's a really cool outfit and every time I go to buy something I like picture wearing it a certain way and then I have to pick it up so that's what happened with this I pictured like the button down underneath the black trousers probably high top converse because I feel like that's all I can wear these days and it's like kind of a problem <laughs> like I have so many pairs of shoes I need to like branch out a little bit but I liked that this one has like a marl detail in it it's kind of gray but has like these warm beige tones going through it and it just makes the overall color just a little bit warmer which is nice for fall and winter times when we are pale as can be and also the fact that this is like adjustable I feel like you can make it look more relaxed when you undo it or you can zip it up so that you have this more like turtleneck fit and something like this I know I'm going to get so much use out of in my wardrobe so definitely excited to start styling this one okay so another piece that I got that I will not be keeping and this was the one thing out of this entire order that I won't keep are these slippers and if you guys have been around for a while you probably would know that I had a pair very similar to this they were the emu Australia brand from Amazon I think and they're around like 60 or 70 dollars so I saw these and I was like, okay, they're 20 bucks, I think, like 15 or 20. Um, and I was like, let me just pick them up and see if they like work because I would like to not have to spend $60 on slippers if these are just gonna end up being the same and they are not. <laughs> so basically I was expecting, or I should, probably should have looked at the product photos or I don't know if they have a product photo of the bottom, but they are like a very slipper material on the bottom and the ones that I had before were like a shoe bottom so I could like go down and take the trash out with them or it's just like nicer because I feel like it's a little bit more durable whereas like this is a fabric with like little grippy dots on it and then this part here is just not as structured and I feel like they are very very soft so if you just need like a cheap slipper to like run around the house in then I definitely recommend these and I will have them linked but I think I'm just gonna end up going with the other ones instead and that's like the only reason why I wouldn't keep them. They fit true to size, I got a size nine um, and the emu ones run a little bit small so I was kind of surprised about that but completely different brand so I don't know why I was surprised. Um, I love the color of them too. I thought that they were like a really pretty taupey color but as I said, I'm just, the only reason why I'm not keeping them is because I wanna get the emu ones again because I loved those so much. And then the second to last piece that I'll show you guys is actually the dress that I'm wearing right now. It is a full on midi dress. It's a true midi. It definitely goes pretty long on me and I'll insert the photos and the video of when I shot this today, but I decided to belt it, but you definitely don't have to wear it with the belt. I think it looks really chic on its own with like combat boots and things like that, but such a stunning shade of like charcoal gray. I just thought that this was like a very chic color moving into like the fall months when everything is like lots of warm tones going on. I thought that this would be like a really cool contrast. And the fit of it, you guys can see that there's like these puff sleeves, which I love. And then it kind of goes into more of a narrow cuff here. And then something that I'm really loving is like these mock neck shapes where it's not like a huge, like chunky turtleneck, which I will probably wear like when it gets a lot colder out. Um, but it just kind of like is very flattering, I think on the neckline. And then it kind of has like these knit, I don't know how to explain it, but like the knit kind of has shape to it as well. It gets a little bit more like cinched on the waist naturally on its own without a belt. And then it just goes into like this very like straight shape, midi length length. <laughs> but I was wearing this and Avery was like, I need to get that because I need to wear things like that to work. And I was like, I'm fully wearing this to work. This is probably gonna be what I'm wearing. Well, I have to um, actually do a lot of manual labor next week during work, but I will definitely wear this like when I'm back in the office a couple weeks from now because I just feel like it's such an easy thing to throw on in the morning. Like I get dressed at like 7.30 in the morning and sometimes like if I don't leave my outfit out the night before, I'm like struggling to like get something together the next day. And this is gonna be something that I reach for so easily because it's just like something to throw on and be out the door. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend it for that. Obviously like you can wear it with combat boots and wear it to brunch or you can put some booty heels on. I feel like it'd be really cute to wear as like a dinner date night look. Again, just like a piece that you can wear in so many different ways in so many different circumstances. And I feel like you could dress it up or down for like an event or you can put on sneakers and go get a coffee in it. I feel like it's one of those pieces that you can basically do anything in except for sleeping because that would be weird. <laughs> um, okay, so then the last piece that I have is a trench coat. And I think up until now, I have had this like weird misconception that like trench coats are meant to be like in this khaki color like I always think of like a classic Burberry trench and things like that but I decided to pick up another color of a trench and I also have 
one in olive green that's coming soon so i'll show you guys that in one of my vlogs coming up um but i got this black shade because i saw a pinterest photo of someone wearing a trench coat and mind you it was a green one but i was like i saw the black one and i was like i could do the exact same thing with a black one and i think it would look so cool like layered up because i feel like we have a very short window of trench coat weather where it's like you get a week out of october that's not too cold out and you can wear your trench but if you layer it with a sweater and like maybe even the gray cardigan that i showed you guys first layered that over the top with like a white tee and like trousers or jeans or leggings with like high socks and sneakers i just feel like i have had such a skewed perception on trench coats that sounds like really intense but there are so many different ways to wear them and i feel like i just have been thinking about like wearing them in the rain and wearing them in a tan color but there's so much more that you can do with them and i absolutely loved the length of this one it just looked like a really true like long trench coat and you guys know that i love an oversized fit so i kind of like when things are a little bit longer just because it looks more like street style to me and yeah it has these like really pretty i don't know if these are black buttons or if they're a little bit brown I can't really see in this lighting, but lots of buttons. It has a tie detail so you can cinch in the waist if you want to, but I'll probably just wear it open and have it super oversized and um, baggy. But I got this one in an extra small because if it says oversized in the description of the item, I always just go true to size, but I figured since it's already really long, I didn't want to have it like wide as well. So I went true to size on this one. It's a really good quality fabric too. I thought that it was going to be like something that was going to wrinkle really easily or just be like cheap fabric in general. I mean, it's Zara, no offense. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought that it was a really good like staple piece to have. Obviously something that's a little bit different than the quintessential trench coat, but I kind of liked that about it. And you guys know I'm a sucker for anything that's black. So decided to pick that one up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I have like a big assortment of like things that you can wear in the fall months moving into winter. And this is like the biggest transition period that I love to dress for. So. Expect a lot more hauls on my channel and you guys will definitely see like new purchases and things in my vlogs coming up soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that. Also give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it and definitely leave any suggestions for future videos. If you guys want me to style the trench coat in five different ways or like the sweaters or anything like that, then just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.